everybody. Happy Friday, I think is the day this goes up. It's Thursday for me, so it doesn't matter what day you're watching this. Happy Thursday. The twins have recently decided they are obsessed with spinning office chairs, and all they want to do is spin on them. They think it's like a swing, like a playground. It's their favorite thing. <laughs> Eric and his brother are working on a little project and so they're working on that. So I don't know how much I'm gonna even vlog today because we're all just like hanging out with family and getting some fun work done. But luckily I've created a monster in my husband and he is now obsessed with going to the beach and looking for sea glass. And so he's kind of like, I think my brother might wanna to go to the beach and see sea glass even though we should all be working right now. He's pretty tempted to just take his brother to the beach for an hour and show him that experience. And so we might go do that. Oh my God, I'm tired. By the way, it's pretty hard for me to film with this specific camera in this room because it wants to focus on the Mirandas behind me all the time. Oh my God, which reminds me, there's a freaking video I've been wanting to show you guys for a while because the kids love watching videos of themselves, especially the videos that I edit of them. Some of their favorite videos are the ones that I edited them doing the magic show, stuff like that. Well, before I stopped touring, there was a video in my show of me as Miranda with the kids. It was during a moment of the show where I had to change my clothes backstage and so I had this video playing on the screen. My kids, love this video. They ask for this video all the freaking time. It is like one of their favorite videos. They're obsessed with it. And Maisie actually had a big chunk of time where she was obsessed with the character and she called Miranda Dabanya. And she still will say Dabanya. She can say Miranda now too, but she says both. She'll say Miranda or Dabanya. Anyway, it's a really cute video and I want to share it with you. It was obviously a very long time ago. The kids were very young. Yeah, please enjoy that. Okay, everybody. Hello. So right now I'm giving you a tutorial on how to look like a famous person. Hi. Hi. Me too. Where are you going? As you can see, I have two average people here who are obviously not famous at all. <gasps> who are you? <laughs> Literally, I don't know where that kid came from. Who are you? <laughs> That's right, he's a nobody because look how he's dressed. No offense. Uh, a little late to the party, but I already said hi 10 minutes ago. Uh, yeah. I literally just said hi, like 10 minutes ago. Anyways, if you want to be a celebrity, you have to act like a celebrity. You can do this with your face. Tilt your head like this. Tilt it. Tilt it. Yes, like this. Do you see this one? This one pooped? This one pooped? What'd you say? What? <laughs> what the heck? That kid spilled the bone broth. <laughs> Freaking bone broth, round and round. You think this is funny? You spilled the bone broth. If you want to look famous, you need a shirt. Preferably one with cats on it. Excuse you. Do you want to wear this? No, no. What about you? Do you think you could put this on? Yes. Wow, fits like a glove. <laughs> now do you just do the face like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Next is hands. You ready? Step in. Okay. <laughs> How's it feel? Great. With the hair clips in like mine? Wow. Wow. It looks good, huh? Yeah. It looks really good. I know it does. Now it's a lipstick. sneak. Uh, do you want or do you want me to do it? Uh, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some? <laughs> no, thank you. What? Make sure there's a cat! Okay, the cat's eating the bone broth. And there you have it. This is how to look like a famous person. All right, anyway, oh, I guess he's leaving. So am I. Bye. <laughs>
we're at the beach and there's basically a river we have to cross. So we need to cross this. Eric just went across barefoot, but his brother and I don't want to get our feet wet right now because oh, I'm wearing like boots, you know? And I don't want like socks wet and whatever. Anyway, trying to make a bridge. So he's gonna grab that log and cross it across to us. We have to try to make a bridge happen. See if we can do it. to the beach. I'm rinsing off this. My hair is crazy. I'm rinsing off the sea glass that I found to give to Eric. This is my sea glass collection. Ta-da! That's what I found at the beach today, and that doesn't include stuff Eric found. And he found way more than me because I was mostly looking for rocks. Are we surprised? Speaking of, it's time for me to switch out a couple of rock tumblers, which this absolutely cannot be interesting to anyone anymore, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing with my life and with my day. And if you like it, you can watch, and if you don't, you can do something else. All right, these are going into stage three. This one is so cool. This one's pretty good too. I love this little nugget. So now I'm gonna go through these and figure out which ones are ready for stage two and which ones need to go through stage one again. So exciting, so entertaining, so fun. Hello everyone, obviously it's the next day. I didn't vlog very much yesterday or the past few days because like I said, my brother-in-law was in town and I actually have some really cute footage of the kids and my brother-in-law um, when we went out to dinner at the harbor. It was super cute. They all wanted to hold his hand. They all wanted to be his best friend and it was just really cute. So I have a little bit of footage of that. Right now I'm just looking through all of my rocks. I actually collected a bunch of rocks when we went to the beach yesterday for my mother-in-law because she is into rock tumbling, which I love. So she actually sent some rocks with my brother-in-law to bring to me from Connecticut. And so I wanted to send her rocks back to tumble from California. So I picked out a few of my favorite like little ones for my brother-in-law to take, but I felt bad making him like travel with a bunch of rocks because I found a lot of rocks I wanted to give her. But I'll show you a few of my faves before I say goodbye to you. This is a fun little black and white quartz. Cute little Dalmatian rock, hello. How fun is that? This is a cute little two-toned moment. It's like chalcedony or quartz or um. This is like a jasp agate mix. I'm not quite sure. A greenish, brownish, reddish, weird diarrhea color jasper. Nice little agate hunk. This one kind of reminds me of a giraffe. Look at this awesome seashell fossil. Like, hello? Isn't that so fun? Nice big carnelian hunk. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Here's another little agate hunk. And there's this cool rock with like little fossils of other rocks inside of the rock. It's a fossil rock of fossils. Anyway, it was super fun. So I'm kind of going through all these rocks and trying to see what I got yesterday. I mostly just find jaspers and agates and quartz on my beaches, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna call it a day for this vlog and I need to go record the podcast. So make sure to subscribe to the podcast if you're not already. My husband and I do a podcast called Relax the Podcast. I don't know why I'm saying that as if I've never talked about that before. Anyway, I have to go because we're gonna go record the next episode. So I need to get crack a lack in and edit this and get it up so that we can go record the next episode. So I'm gonna do that. But my drill bits went all over the floor and that is a problem. So I'm gonna leave you guys today with the footage of my kids with my brother-in-law and them holding his hand, just being obsessed with them. It's really cute. It's not very much footage, but it's just cute enough that I need to share it. I also wanted to show you guys this cute clip of Maisie saying, hold you please, because that's how my kids say, can you please pick me up? Because whenever we pick them up, go, oh, do you want me to hold you? So they think hold you is a word meaning I will pick them up. So they go, hold you, hold you please, means pick me up. So I wanted to share that with you guys too. But anyway, hope you all have a great day. Hope you have a great weekend. Hope you have a great whatever it is you're having. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. You seen the boats? Is this so fun? Oh. I want to hold you. I want to hold you. Yeah, I want to hold you. Okay, I'll hold you. I want to hold you.